I'm Doug Forsyth, Chief Investment Officer of the Income and Growth Team at Allianz Global Investors. Coming to you today from my home in Southern California, all of us has faced an incredible amount of difficulty in 2020 with the global pandemic, the healthcare crisis that we've never faced, certainly in my career of over 25 years. What's interesting is the incredible resilience of the market in the face of such sheer economic devastation. We have a number of factors that we should look at when thinking about where is the current state of the economy, but more importantly, where is the current state of the market? There are four specific factors I'd like to highlight when thinking about income and growth and the three sleeves that we invest in. The equity market, the high yield market, and the convertible market all react to various factors, but we can look very quickly at how was, it able, how was the market able to rebound as quickly as it was. First and foremost, most businesses in the United States were quick to move to a remote location uh, environment. Our own team was able to quickly remove ourselves from the office and be able to remote in from our homes or from a location where we were safely distanced from one another. This was true in a variety of service industries. This was true in many technology companies and healthcare companies and many growth companies that have actually prospered in this difficult environment. The second factor, of course, is the extremely fast and furious response by the Federal Reserve and fiscal policy in the U.S. when we're thinking about economic resilience, the lessons learned all the way back from the Great Depression in the United States through 2008, many of the programs and uh, different incentives, whether it be payroll incentives or it be company loans, or most importantly for our markets, the immediate response by the Fed to encourage corporate bond buying. Now, they have not acted very often in buying corporate bonds directly or ETFs, but the fact that they had put that on the table had an immediate lift to the high yield market and convertible market, and that there was a floor or base valuation in which investors could be confident. And therefore, the market was automatically or almost immediately open. New issues were coming to market, and many companies that were faced with financial risk were able to borrow very, very quickly. This was a hugely positive impact for the liquidity in the markets and a, and a determining factor that we can be confident in. Another element, of course, is the healthcare crisis itself. And as devastating as it's begun, there are factors and signals that the, the overall rate of increase of new cases is actually declining. Therefore, some investors are saying maybe it won't be as long in duration as we might have expected before. And the last factor, of course, is earnings. There are many companies that have been resilient and actually doing well. And you can think about those companies as they're available in everyone's home today. But there are also companies that will be coming out of this leaner and more cost efficient than they were in the past. These are the companies that we'll be investing in. These are the companies we're gonna be looking for in the income and growth portfolio. We're very excited about the future. We know it's been a very difficult time, but we can see the speed in which the market responded that we need to be ready for those investment opportunities. Thank you again. I'm Doug Forsyth. We appreciate your investments with Allianz Global Investors and may you have a safe and prosperous 2020.